In this video, you will learn how to create and program these two different types of doors. With that, let's get into the video. First off, let's begin by inserting a Roblox character so we can reference the size of our door. After that, let's insert a part and you can begin building your own door. I'm just gonna build a simple door out of a few parts right here. I would recommend using the specific increment so you don't have sizes that are incorrect with your parts that don't look good because you want your model to be looking clean and have no Z fighting or any weird size differences. I would recommend adding these walls on the side so you don't have to see the doors after they open because no one wants to see flying doors. After you've finished your model, we'll begin naming each part. I'm going to name each door, door L and door R, so we can locate which door is which. And after that, I'm also going to create a sensor and name it sensor as well, so we can locate it. Make sure to set the sensor to can collide equals false. And set the transparency to 1 so we don't see it. Remove the character before selecting all the parts. Make sure to select all the parts and anchor them, as well as adding them to a group so you can move them easily. Now let's create a script and begin coding. Let's begin by adding the values, which is the sensor, tween service, and the doors. I'll be explaining what tween service is later into the video, so don't worry about that. For people who have not coded before, basically what we're doing is defining where each object is and what services we'll need to create this door and make it functional. To prevent the door from spazzing out and creating this weird loop where the door opens and closes midway, we're going to be adding a value called cooldown which will be set to false and true depending on when the door is open or not. Now after you've typed all the values out, we're going to begin by checking when the sensor has been touched so we can open the doors and add a specific cooldown so they can close again. To verify that the object that is in front of the door is a player, we're going to be checking if the part that's touching has a humanoid in it. Because when a group contains a humanoid, it most likely means that it's a player. In the same if statement, we're going to be checking if cooldown is false or true, which means to check if the door is closed or open. After all the checks, we're going to be setting cooldown to true to indicate that the door has been opened and begin cooldown. Now we're going to continue with tweening the door, which means we're going to create an animation for the door so it can open and close when you walk up to it. So basically the parameters that go into tweening is what you will tween, which is the door we want to tween in this specific occasion. And then there's tween info. In tween info, you can set the animation style if you want it to be smooth, do you want it to bounce, do you want it to do anything else. And also you set the time and if you want it to loop. I won't go in more detail about this because this needs a whole new video about it because it's more complex. Now after that, you're going to add a comma and then you're going to add what type of thing you want to change. You want to change the rotation, the transparency, in this case, we'll be changing C-Frame. To make the video less complicated, in the tween info, we're just going to be adding the time we want it to take to open. This means that I'll just take the default state, which is a linear animation. Now in this part, I won't be able to explain to you, but C-Frame basically means that it will change the position and the rotation. The reason we're using C-Frame is because we want to be able to move the door around anywhere in studio and it will still open correctly. Now to move C-Frame in its local axis instead of its global axis, what you're going to do is actually times it the amount you want it to move. There are three axes, X, Y, and Z. Now you're going to have to find the correct axis, which is one of the three numbers you're going to set here, and then set the number to the amount you want the door to open. Now you're going to have to tweak that playtest and keep joining to find the correct number because sometimes it might open too little or too much, but increasing and decreasing the value will make the door open correctly. As you can see from the video, I've created a total of four tweens. Two for the two doors opening and two for the two doors closing. Now you're going to have to change the values on each one of them or you can create another value. Now that's up to you. You can also see that I've set one to negative and one to positive. This means that the other door has to open the opposite way. In this section, you should change the numbers accordingly for you and the size of your door and also change the axis, which is one of the three numbers in between the commas and check if the door is opening correctly. Now in this section, you have to not follow my directions exactly because you have to change the numbers accordingly to your door size and also the axis according to which rotation the door is on. 
When all that is complete, you can add the play at the end so to make sure the animation actually plays and you don't sit there and nothing happens and you're so confused and you're going to be asking me, why is your code not working? I'm adding a 5 second cooldown in the middle of the two animations to make sure after the door opens it takes 5 seconds for it to close again. Now the wait you see at the end before we change the cooldown back to fall so the door can reopen is just to make sure that the animation previously has finished which is the 0.7 seconds and then the door can open again. After that you're done, you've created your first sliding door. Now I know there's probably an easier way to do this and there's going to be some coder in the description telling me hey you're doing something wrong. This video is not meant for people who are already experienced with coding, it's just meant simply to show some people how to make a door that don't know how to script. If you have any questions or problems with your code, please ask them in the description so I can answer them.